Hi guys, this is Puneet and we are in the seventh class of data structures. So in the previous classes, we have talked about the searching techniques and we are moving towards sorting techniques right now, right? So in the previous class, we have talked about the bubble sort and in this class, we are going to revise that bubble sort and other sorting techniques, guys. So bubble sorting technique is special because there are many questions regarding bubble sort that's why it is important guys so bubble sort algorithm what is bubble sort so basically bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm right it is a simple sorting algorithm well the special thing about bubble sort is it is based on the divide and conquer technique so this sorting algorithm is comparison based algorithm in which each pair of adjacent element is compared and the elements are swapped if they are not in order. The algorithm is not suitable for large data sets as its average and worst case complexity are of O n square where n is the number of items. So basically you have to remember that the bubble sort is a comparison based algorithm that is important right guys and in this the pairs of adjacent elements are compared okay then this algorithm is not suitable for large data sets if there is a large data set suppose that 10,000 elements or 1 lakh elements are there then this is not a good te technique at that time right if we have uh, a small number of elements then you can use bubble sort but not in a large data set manner right okay guys the complexity is big o n square remember it so average and worst case complexity is big o n square best case complexity o1 okay remember that sorry o n Best case complexity is O n, but average and worst case complexity is O n square. Okay, uh, so you have to remember all these things. Now, let's take an example and see how the bubble sort works. So we take an unsorted array for our example. Basically, this is our unsorted array: 14, 33, 27, 35, and 10. Right, guys? Now, bubble sort takes O n square time. So that's why we are taking a small example only with five elements because if we have a large number of elements then it will take a lot of time. So as we talked we have to compare the adjacent elements like 14 and 33. We will compare 14 with 33 guys and if they are in a sorted manner then nothing will uh, happen. But if they are not in sorted then it will swap those elements okay so bubble sort start with very first two elements and comparison uh, comparing them to check which one is greater if the second one is greater then nothing will happen okay now you have to remember that uh, as the name suggests it works on a bubble technique like big bubbles come on the top right if we have a glass suppose that we have a glass in which we have a fizzy drink then bubbles which are bigger in size then they will approach the top first right similarly in this technique the largest number will be settled at the last index in this technique in bubble sort the largest number suppose that in our example the largest number is 35 then this 35 will be settled at the last position okay guys you have to remember that if we are taking a large number set and we have any one number uh, which is the greatest in all then that will be arranged at the last that's why it is called bubble sort as bubbles settle on the top uh, easily bigger bubbles settle on the top right similarly in this scenario, like uh, if uh, after comparing 14 and 33, it will compare 33 with 27. Next adjacent pair. 
नाउ ट्वेंटी सेवन इज स्मॉलर एंड थर्टी थ्री इज बिगर देन स्वैपिंग विल टेक प्लेस ठीक है सो दे विल स्वैप द पोजिशन नाउ ट्वेंटी सेवन विल बी ऑन द थर्टी थ्री प्लेस एंड थर्टी थ्री विल बी ऑन द ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लेस समथिंग लाइक दिस राइट आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर द स्वैपिंग इट विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके ग्रेट गाइज so now we have 14 27 33 35 and 10 now it will compare 33 with 35 now the comparison will take place between 33 and 35 right okay after the comparison as we can see 35 is greater and 33 is smaller right so nothing will happen nothing will happen it will be as it is and next comparison will happen between 35 and 10 okay so here we are comparing 35 with 10 right now because 35 is greater and 10 is smaller therefore they will swap their positions and it will become something like this 35 and 10 will swap their position and it will become something like this okay this is our pass one or we can say first pass right so after pass 1 we arranged one element at the end right after pass 1 we have arranged first element at the end right guys so 14 27 33 10 and 35 after rearranging the elements we have something like this and one element is arranged now again we will compare all the elements one by one Till ten, we will not compare thirty-five. It is already arranged. We will compare only between fourteen and ten, right? Okay. So fourteen will be compared with twenty-seven. Nothing will happen. Twenty-seven will be compared with thirty-three. Nothing will happen. Thirty-three will be compared with ten. A swapping will take place between thirty-three and ten. Then it will become something like this. So that will be our pass. pass 1 and pass 2 right guys so therefore we have two elements arranged after pass 2 right now because two elements are already arranged then it will only arrange the first three element 14 to 10 okay now the comparison will also take place between these elements 14 will be compared with 27 nothing will happen but 27 and 10 will be compared so 27 is greater than 10 there will swap their places with each other then we will get something like this okay so 14 10 27 33 and 35 35 is already arranged 33 is already arranged and 27 is already arranged after pass 3 okay now after Three passes, three elements are arranged, and two is left. Then we will compare the last two elements. Ten is smaller than fourteen. Then they will swap places with each other, and we will get our sorted end after pass four. So you have to remember that after each pass, only one element will be arranged, and if we have five element, there will be only four passes like. four times comparison will take place only you have to remember that but if you have 10 elements then nine passes will be there but it is a very great technique if you have a small number of elements if you have a small number of elements then it is a very good technique great 10 elements five elements 100 elements no problem 400 elements 99 passes will be there 99 comparisons will be happened first is after first pass for uh, the uh, highest element the biggest element will be arranged at the position of 100 and so on okay but if you have 10000 elements 1 lakh elements then this is a very bad technique because it will take so many passes to arrange one element right after 10000 comparisons only one element is arranged 
then the pass two will take place and then one more element will be arranged then pass three will take place then one more element will be arranged and so on so that's why it is a it is not a very good technique if you have so many elements and its complexity is o n square remember that right so remember this guys if you have small number of elements then bubble sort is a very good technique for a large number of set it is not a good technique now we have insertion sort we have insertion sort how insertion sort take place so it is an in place comparison based sorting technique first of all it is in place remember that we talked about what is in place what is adaptive and other kind of sorting right and insertion sort insertion sort is a in place comparison based sorting technique first of all it is in place 